Good morning, Joy here. It is Saturday already. Can you believe it? I have been home over a week. I cannot believe it. The time goes by so, so fast. Anyway, September 5, um, long weekend, and um, I'm waiting for Terry and her two little grand dolls to come visit me this morning, Riley and McKinley. I'm thinking about putting some beads and some um, string together so they can make a necklace while they're here. So anyway, before I do that, I want to tell you what I've been doing this week, in case anybody cares. <laughs> you remember how I said I didn't spend any money at the plastic surgeon or the facial place? And so I was going to go buy something. You remember that? And so then what I went to buy was at Hancock's, and it was this pretty floral cotton sateen and the reason i'm saying it like that is <laughs> you remember the horrible clerk blowing the bubbles in my face her name was candace at hancock's well i decided to go back again the next day and i was looking for some zippers well the zipper display was a complete disaster most of the hooks were empty. They didn't have hardly any colors. A bunch of the zippers had fallen down to the drawer underneath. I pulled the drawer out from underneath and it was just a tangled web of zippers. Horrible mess. So I finally gave up on the zipper and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go see if they have any more of that cotton sateen because there was another print that I kinda liked. So, I went over to where it had been. And it was the messiest mess you ever saw. You know how the, the fabrics are stacked up in bolts and the bolts are up like this? Well, the bolts had all fallen over and they had put a bunch of other bolts in there that didn't go there. And so I lifted up those bolts and I found one bolt of cotton sateen that I didn't like, an uh, ugly print that I didn't like. And then in front of this um, cabinet or display of this fabric was a whole bunch of, I don't know if it was drapery fabrics or some kind of fabrics that are rolled um, lengthwise and they're on those posts or the poles and they were stacked up in front of that well they had been stacked up in front of it only they had all fallen over and they were just in a pile on the floor like pickup sticks okay huge mess I mean you had to like walk over them to get to where the cotton sateen used to be so I thought I'm gonna go find somebody and ask them where the cotton sateen is that I saw the day before so I go find somebody, guess who I find? Bubble blowing Candace, yes, bubble blowing Candace. Of all clerks I didn't want to find, that's the one that I found. So I say to bubble blowing Candace, I wanted to buy some more of that cotton sateen print that I bought the other day. Well, we don't carry cotton sateen here. I said, you don't, I was just here yesterday and I bought some of it and I bought some of it a couple days before that. Well, we don't carry prints, all we carry is solids and the cotton sateen's over there across the store. Well, across the store is where the quilting cottons are. And you know how they have the solid poplins and the solid broadcloths that are always over there by the print um, quilting fabrics. And I saw them over there and I said, that's not cotton sateen, that's 100% cotton. She said, well, we don't carry cotton sateen. I said, well, let me show you, Candace. So I have her follow me over to where the mess of pickup sticks is on the floor, thinking maybe she would see it and clean it up. No, she stepped over it just like I did, like it wasn't even there. I pulled up the fallen down bolts and pulled out the one and told her, here it is, cotton sateen, print. And I showed her the end of the bolt where it said cotton sateen. She just looked at me with a go to hell look and walked off, said nothing. So, I thought, whatever. Uh, or no, I think she said, oh, it's probably on the sale table. I think that's what she said. Well, it's probably on the sale table. So, the sale tables, you know what the sale tables are like. It's like big tables, like my cutting tables stacked this high <laughs> with a thousand bolts of fabric. I mean, you gotta be Hercules to, to lift them up to get to the one on the bottom. So I went and I looked at the sale tables, could not find any cotton sateen at all. So, about that time I'm wandering back to find something else and I see the lady with the half shaved head and long hair on the other side, her name's Gaynell, I think it was. And so I say to her, oh, I'm so glad to 
glad you're here. I said, I need some help. I said, I asked Candace a minute ago for the cotton sateen, and she said, you don't even carry it. She said, well, I don't think we do. So I went through my spiel again. And I said, yes, Gaynell, you do carry it. I just bought it the other day. And I can show you over here. I said, follow me. So here we go, over the pickup sticks again. On the floor. This is the manager of the store, mind you. Does she do anything about all the falling down fabric on the floor? No. Steps over it. I show her the cotton sateen. It's a different print. That's not what I want, mind you. But I pick it up and I show her the end of the bolt. Cotton sateen. She says, now we don't want any trouble here today. That's what she says to me. We don't want any trouble here today. So I thought, you know what? Neither do I. I am so sick of this store. I put down whatever I was going to buy and I walked out and I will never go back there until those people change. I will order online or I will go to Joann's which is 20 miles away or I will go to Helen Enix which is 20 miles away. I don't care. I'll go anywhere but there. I will not deal with those horrible clerks again. And I probably won't have to because the clerks in that, the managers, they change. They change constantly like you change air filters. They just... They're always different. Although, from past experience, they get worse and worse and worse and worse. And I don't know how they could get any worse than that one. But anyway, that's not what I'm here to tell you, is it? I've got to quit drinking coffee. I've got sweat drops on my upper <laughs> lip. I don't know what the uh, thermostat's on. Anyway, you want to see what I made out of the cotton sateen that doesn't exist that Hancock's doesn't have? Here it is. This is Pinky. You remember Pinky? that I made with my daughter not very long ago. Here she is. And I made this long skirt. I don't know how much the camera can see, but it has a split at the bottom. See, it splits at the bottom in the front over my left leg. And then I made this uh, short sleeve top and I put a zipper in it. Now, uh, uh, that's one of the things I was looking for at that Hancock's and I couldn't find, so I had to go to Hobby Lobby and oh, let me tell you. You know, I had just left Hancock's, which was, I'm telling you, a total pig pen. All around the cutting tables, they have these um, shopping baskets, like Walmart shopping baskets, full of fabric, full of them. Fabric on top of fabric on top of fabric, falling off, hanging off. And it's the fabrics that people have been bringing up for days and having cut, and nobody has put it away. The floors are cluttered. The uh, lights are half, half the lights are burned out. I mean, it is a pig pen. So, I leave there, and I think, I'm going to Hobby Lobby. Now, Hobby Lobby doesn't have a lot of fabric or a lot of notions, but they do have some stuff. So, I went to Hobby Lobby. Oh, my goodness. All the difference. I wish, I wish I had thought to take a picture. All the difference in the whole wide world. Walked in the front door, and their floors, which I'm sure they're not marble, but they look like marble, sparkling. I mean, the light was sparkling sparkling like diamonds off the floors. They were so cleaned and so waxed. Not a piece of thread, not a piece of fuzz, nothing. All the shelves were clean, 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 all of the stuff totally organized, totally beautiful, beyond belief. And I just thought when I walked in the door, I thought, what a contrast. This right here is a statement of the difference in the manager of this store and the manager of Hancock's. It has everything to do with the manager. So anyway, I went back and they didn't have very many zippers, but they had one that was like 24 inches long. And so I had to cut it off at the top. And with a separating zipper, you don't really want to cut it off at the top, but I had to. So anyway, I managed to get it in the blouse. And so now this is kind of like a jacket. And so yesterday, I took this piece of fabric which I also got at Hancock somehow. I don't know, I guess I just didn't need any help. <laughs> and so it's going to be a sleeveless blouse to fit inside. See, it's not hemmed up yet. It'll be shorter than the jacket. And so that fits inside the little jacket. So how fun is that, huh? Maybe if I get it done today, I can wear it tomorrow to church. And pardon my giant outfit. I know I'm wearing super baggy clown clothes today, but it's Saturday. And I don't care. <laughs> but isn't it pretty? Don't you like it? I have to hem this up. I bought uh, another piece. Let me see. Where's my other piece? Hold on one second. I bought this piece too. 
Now this piece, is it stretchy? I'm not sure if it's stretchy. A little bit stretchy. And it's ribbed. And so I really like it better. But I let Terry choose. And Terry said she liked this color better. So, and I don't know, you know, it's like there's just little parts here and there that match these two solids, but I think I'm gonna cut this one out and make it too. Anyhow, what else did I do? Oh, I made a bracelet. I'll take a picture of the bracelet and post it so you can see it. And I made the skirt and the top and the blouse. And I finished my quilt. Oh, I'll take the camera off in a second and show you my quilt, okay? In fact, I'll just say bye for now and I'll go do that. Okay, here it is, wildflowers. It's all done. The only thing is, I don't like it. I mean, I like it, but I don't like how the block pattern turned out. And I'm not going to tell you why. You look at it, and you tell me if you can figure out what I don't like about this quilt. Terry said, well, if you don't like it, she'll just do a pano on it, and we can sell it on Etsy. So, if anybody likes it and wants it, let me know. I spent hours and hours and hours and hours and hours on it. <clears throat> Remember that the quilt blocks are embroidered. Let me get really close and you can see the embroidery. See how pretty? I wish I'd made the whole quilt out of that flower. And there's the New England asters. And each one has its name. I wasn't going to put the names. I thought, well, how stupid. Who cares what they're called? But um, he kind of needed it to fill in, the, uh, fill in the space. Okay? So that's it. Wildflower quilt. All ready. If anybody wants to buy this quilt top, let me know. I sure will pack it up and send it to you. Okay. I gotta go take a picture of that bracelet.